This is the 801 Custom from DNA Boats. It's a fantastic vessel and it gives you a good idea of what DNA Boats can do. They can design anything you want. Put all these buttons and bells and whistles on it and the sky's the limit really when it comes down to boat building. And it is a lot different from your regular style boat. Overall length of this boat is 8.1 metres. It's got a 6mm hull, 4mm size and a 3mm cabin. Pretty good powerful weight there. Total fuel capacity under floor is 300 litres of diesel and it carries 30 litres of fresh water on board. This boat has a dry towing weight of 3,360 kg. Braked on one axle and it has in-cab control braking. Power horse. The power horse in this beast is a VW 260 TDI V6 diesel engine. It's got plenty of punch. Pushing her along is a Mercury Bravo 3 Duro Prop stern leg. Cooling the engine down are three intakes on the top of the engine cover. And exhaust aft, blowing all that hot air around the engine out the back. And stainless grills. It's very nice. You can dry your boots on them too actually. And one of my favourite features about this boat is the walk around area at the back. There's heaps of room here. There's fold down gates at the back so pretty easy access and doubles up as a ladder as well so you can get in and out of the boat when you're diving or swimming or dragging big fish in over the back. Platform railings are made of 12mm alloy plate with the central ladder right here. Folds down, folds up and you can also use the central ladder when it's out of the water and the leg is up to get in and out of the boat. So it's pretty easy access, there's heaps of room here. Bait board right in the middle. Uh, this can also be used as a seat when you've got that massive fish on. Bait board comes with six rod holders here. There's a little channel there that you can put your sausages and bait and the bait board here. So this is the business end of the boat. This is where it all happens in the cockpit here and it's got lots of room you could swing a cat in here quite easy you could probably swing a couple of cats actually one in this corner one in this corner here features of the cockpit stainless steel rod holders we've also got pop-up cleats here so they stay nicely recessed so you don't kick over them and end up in the drink we've also got the gas bottle tucked down in this corner stays in here so there's plenty of room in this cupboard you can store four fenders in there you can put your spare guns in there rods reels whatever you want that folds out of the way and the gunnels are really wide too. Really comfortable to sit on, really easy to walk around. So the whole boat's really easy to clean, it's covered in new deck and if you look down the bottom here, there's plenty of tow space there so if you're fighting a big fish you can actually lean right over the edge and you're not feeling like you're going to fall in all the time and this new deck has actually got an immense amount of grip so you can be right up hard against the edge, leaned over cranking her in. Plenty of room to work on this boat. In this corner here we've got the sink. There's, it's it's quite, a, quite a good feature there. It's outside, we've got hot and cold water on tap. There's a deck wash here as well and this just sits back in there out of the way and there's also plenty of storage room under here and this cupboard also holds the gas caliphant so there's plenty of storage on the boat. That's what I really like about it. Heaps of places, heaps of nooks and crannies. It's even got a shower in this corner here. Check this out. Happy wife, happy life. And the shower has got plenty of room. I'm six foot three and I've got heaps of room up here. Uh, some boats I've been in, you have to kind of get under there, try and wash yourself. And yeah, this shower's actually got plenty of room. Even with the door closed, because the door's curved, I can spin all the way around and give myself a jolly good clean. And you can even wash out on deck if you want. A bit A. A bit flash, isn't it? Comes with its own bidet. That's what you call them, isn't it? A bidet. A handheld bidet. So you can be extra clean down the bottom end. Put that there for later. Cabin. Cooking. And if you guys want to cook yourselves a feed, it's as simple as taking this leather squab off. And we've got a lovely um, bench top with a two burner stove here. Gas. There we go. Soft closed drawers so they don't slam. Look at that. That's pretty flash, isn't it? And then you can tuck that out of the way there. Oh, there. oh yep, there we go. So you, you've got enough to fit all of your Lego in here. If you want to take your Lego fishing, let's put that leather squab back there, which also doubles as another seat too. If your mother-in-law comes fishing, you can put it there because there's actually heaps of room there. It's quite big. 
We have a Waco 12 volt fridge here. Yeah, plenty of room in this fridge. Plenty of room. There's enough to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, at least ten bottles of milk in there, so that gives you an idea of how big it is. How many beers could you fit in this thing? 36, 40, 40 odd beers, that'll keep you going. Keep the party going for a while. If you like your big boys toys, this is the boat for you. Look at all these switches. I don't even know what half of them do, but they've all got pictures on them. Trim tabs, anchor, window wipers. Look, there's more. There's so many buttons here, I don't know where to start. You can look online at the specs for it if you want to know more. It's very comfortable to drive this boat. There's lots of room. It's very well set up with the footrest and the armrests. It's, it's awesome. So this seat swivels. You can sit forward or back. If you're entertaining guests, it's even got a table. There we go. You can have a nice cup of tea and eat some hors d'oeuvres. And... That's nice, eh? That just lets that breeze right in. Large dashboard to put your phone and other stuff on. And down this end, more storage under here. There we go. So we've got storage on the side, under the front. Plop that down there. Oh, it's a big hatch. It's good, isn't it? So more underfloor storage there. You can put your boxes of vegetables and food and whatnot. Plonk it under there. More storage down here. More storage down there. A lot of storage on this boat. Oh, we've got a DVD player there for the kids as well. So while you're out in the cockpit having a party, your kids can be in here and watching educational movies. Plenty of room for a couple of people to fish off the front of the boat as well. I love these nice wide gunnels, eh? Yeah, really easy to walk around. There's heaps of room on here. Very, very comfortable. Big, but not too big. So there you have it, the DNA 801 Custom. It gives you a really good idea of the options that DNA can provide. It's a lot different from your regular fishing boat out there. It's big enough to be really, really comfortable, but still small enough to put on a trailer. It's got all the bells and whistles. Yeah, I guess if you want, if you want any more information on this boat, give Jason from DNA a ring. That's Jason there. Hi.